I'm Natasha Lubchenko with your CT Style Express. The COVID-19 pandemic has raised extra health concerns for the elderly, and nursing homes have had to take additional precautions to keep their residents safe. Mary Wade has been around for over 150 years, and its staff is well equipped to handle times of crisis. In 1918, we also had to deal with a pandemic, and we got through that successfully. And so we're, we're kind of relying on our history and our past, but using new technologies. David Hunter is the president and CEO of Mary Wade Home here in New Haven. He is proud of his staff for combating COVID-19 and bringing back the vibrant, safe atmosphere that the nonprofit is known for. We're open. You know, we are taking new uh, short-term rehab patients in our skilled nursing center. We are doing tours in the residential assisted living and admitting folks into there. Our transportation is still rolling. We've opened up the adult day center. To ensure the utmost safety for residents and visitors alike, Mary Wade's Environmental Services Department sanitizes rooms, hallways, and elevators around campus, cleaning everything from rugs to surfaces to air vents. In fact, the building has some built-in safety measures of its own. We replaced eight of our exhaust fans, and what that does is we increased the amount of air that's getting exhausted through the building which also helps to increase air quality. We are also going to be adding UV lighting to the ductwork of the building. Any contaminants that get past the filtering will be killed by the UV lighting. All of this, in combination with rigorous PPE training for staff, is crucial to upholding Mary Wade's high standard of safety for all. There's a certain way to put it on and then there's a certain way to take it off. This way you are not contaminating yourself, the resident that you're in the room with or the patient, and then you're not also bringing germs home to your family. And these same safety measures will be brought to the new 75,000 square foot assisted living facility being built right across the street. Everything is antimicrobial in terms of uh, surfaces, all the carpets, flooring. The wall feel very good to see that the residents, most importantly, that they're in a building that's safe and they're able to live their lives in a comfortable place. For more information on the Mary Wade home, its services and safety precautions, visit marywade.org. For CT Style, I'm Natasha Lubchenko.